men and women approach agriculture and technology differently. Each one of them looks at agriculture based on what are their constraints and their strengths, their opportunities and the context they have. So each one would be looking at what they actually need, which is different from one another. For example, you may be um, e designing equipment for sh shredding and what you have in mind is the shredding process, but you haven't thought of who is going to use that technology. You haven't thought if that person, men or women, how tall they are, how strong they are, if they will be carrying a baby on their back, if they will be doing this on small scale, meaning for household consumption, or will they be doing in large scale? You are thinking about the technology. In general, that tends to benefit men more than women because they have different perceptions and different needs. We need not be afraid of uh, addressing gender concerns in agriculture. I think we need to look at it as an opportunity to increase the uptake of our technology development. I find so many researchers developing with so much care technology products to reduce hunger, you know, to address food insecurity. And sometimes if you can enhance that development with specific traits to target the other half of the world population, you may increase you know, the adoption and the uptake of that technology.